Today was the day that Bray Wyatt's Becoming Immortal documentary dropped on Peacock. However, some random suit has decided if you're outside the United States, you can't watch it, which is a really stupid, dumb decision by WWE. Really, really stupid. I'll say it, I don't care. But nonetheless, I have been able to watch it, and I'm sure you can find ways to watch it too. Now, this is just as emotional as everyone expected it to be. Very, very interesting. I won't go into a lot of spoilers on this video. I want to talk about the end scene, the post credit scene where you saw Bray Wyatt's lantern. And this was interesting because there was like a lot of flickering and stuff like that. And then boom, this figure appeared. Now, clearly this figure is Uncle Howdy. It's Bo Dallas, Taylor Rotunda, Bray's brother, set to come back to WWE. Fightful Select are reporting that WWE sources have told Fightful that it is a teaser for Bo Dallas's eventual return. We don't know when that will be, but that is a deliberate inclusion. We also haven't learned what a return could look like as of yet. Now, in the documentary, Bo does talk about continuing his brother's legacy. So this is something I think a lot of fans have longed to see. It's something a lot of fans have wanted for Bo Dallas to come back and to do. So it looks like it's going to happen. Very interestingly, this has been the thing that a lot of people are talking about. And I think rightfully so. I think this is the most Bray Wyatt thing you can do. And in a documentary that's purely a tribute to him, why would you not include something that 100% he would have done himself? I mean, you've also got to check the date. It is April 1st. You never know what WWE is planning to do. This could be edited later on and it could all be one big elaborate hoax. I really don't think they'll do that. Um, but I mean, it would be hella hilarious, wouldn't it? And I'm, I'm sure Bray would be laughing at us all if they did actually do this as an April Fool's. But like I said, there are answers in this documentary. There's a lot of stuff that breaks the fourth wall and breaks the kayfabe and really dives into the mind of Wyndham Rotunda. It's well worth a watch if you haven't already. If you're planning to watch it later on, definitely do so. I think everyone should see this. And that's why I think WWE is stupid for not putting it on the network worldwide for fans to watch. I'm sure we're going to be talking about this again later on during Raw's things you might have missed, the final Raw before WrestleMania. But have you watched the documentary yet? If you have, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!